Hi, in this video, we are going to see about logging into MATLAB online and doing some basic tasks in MATLAB. So, for working with MATLAB online, first we should have a MATLAB account, and that account should be your username, should be your tc.edu email ID. Okay, for that, first to navigate to the URL matlab.mathworks.com, which link is available in the google classroom okay so once you have uh, gone to the website if you do not have a matlab account first step is you click on create one okay and it will ask for your email address here you give your tc.edu email id and uh, you give your location first name last name etc and uh, proceed okay and uh, you will get uh, a link in your gmail uh, okay gmail and uh, if you activate it then you will be able to log into matlab okay i already have my matlab account so therefore i am directly logging in into the email okay. so once you have logged in to the matlab okay you will have the same offline kind of view or offline kind of displays available in matlab online also here you will be having uh, three important uh, components one thing will be your current folder tab and next is your workspace where your temporary variables will be stored and the third thing is your command window most of the operation we will be doing only with command window okay so first to uh, create a transfer function okay uh, we will uh, have to use tf command okay the uh, tf command will create a transfer function the task I am going to do today is uh, to design a lead compensator using MATLAB for the system. That is 1 divided by S into S plus 1 S plus 10. Okay. Now let me create a system G equal to TF of numerator 1 divided by S into S plus 1 S plus 10. You multiply all the three terms together. Then you will have S cube plus 11 S square plus 10 S plus 0. So, type those coefficients. S cube coefficient is 1, S square is 11, S coefficient is 10, and constant time is 0. Now, you have your transfer function. Once you press enter, the result will be displayed. And if you want to check whether we have created it properly, you click on, uh, you use the command ZPK. ZPK means zero pole gain. And if you pass the transfer function object, it will display in separate pole zero format. So, this is what we have created. The objective of the system is to uh, uh, design a lead compensator so that uh, the closed loop system has around 16.4 uh, percentage overshoot. Okay, and uh, you have uh, and your closed loop settling time should be double. Sorry, it should be half. Okay. Uh, so first, uh, we will directly start with SASO tool. The command is SASO tool. Within that, you need to pass your system. SASO tool of G. So once you press enter, SASO tool will open up. See, in order to improve accessibility, okay, you just move your SASO tool window somewhere at the end of the screen okay sometimes some dialog box will be behind this window so it would be better if you can keep this window at the end of screen somewhere okay. now ssv tool will be able to see three factors uh, through three windows first window is your closed loop response second window is root locus third window is body plot so now we we'll select root locus in root locus we are going to design our uh, compensator Okay, in root locus window, okay, in the top menu itself, you have an option called root locus editor. If you click on that, you have several options to have zoomed view, etc. Okay. The first step is to add requirement for the system. Just to right click somewhere in the root locus, you will have design requirements and click on new. Okay, we are creating first a new requirement in that click on new. Okay. Here, uh, the first design requirement is my percentage overshoot will be 16.4 percentage 
over shoot should be less than 16.4 percent so click on equal to Percentage over fifty sixteen point four. Okay. We have created an overshoot. Okay. In order to have zoomed view, uh, in the menu bar under root locus editor, you have plus symbol. You just click on it and uh, drag and drop a region. There you will have your zoomed view. Okay. Now uh, the question is. We need to design compensator so that your maximum peak overshoot is 16.4 percentage and the settling time is 50 percentage of the uncompensated system okay for uncompensated system we don't add any compensator we just uh, uh, adjust the gain and uh, we achieve our root locus see here you can see two rose colored dot okay you just click on the rose colored dot and uh, drag it to the point where root locus and this maximum peak overshoot line meets. Okay, I have just dragged these dots and placed it near your maximum peak overshoot line. Now what happens is our gain is adjusted in such a way that your closed loop response has the desired characteristics. Now uh, click on your uh, input uh, reference to output response that is closed loop response. In that select right click okay, and uh, on characteristics you select peak response the peak response if you see now uh, it is uh, 1.18 that means you have uh, okay overshoot is 17.7 percentage and uh, once again right click characteristics and uh, select settling time now the settling time if you just click on the dot it will display this 8.86 now now we can uh, add our requirement our requirement is uh, 50 uh, your compensated settling time should be 50 percentage of uncompensated so 8.86 divided by 2 that is 4.43 now i am going to add another requirement just right click on root locus design requirement new and in the settling time we enter 4.43 second and click on ok okay Pressed some window, let me close it. Okay. Now, what happened is I have both my maximum peak overshoot line and settling time line. Here, you can see that the uncompensated system uh, is able to satisfy maximum peak overshoot, but it cannot satisfy settling time. So, the objective of compensator is to uh, bend the root locus in such a way that it passes through. The desired pole location. What is the desired pole location? The intersection between your maximum peak overshoot and the settling time line. So for that, I am going to add a pole zero pair. Now uh, select a zero from add zero button. Place it somewhere in the left hand side. And click add pole button, add real pole, and place it somewhere in much more left hand side. The objective is now to adjust your poles and zero in such a way that your root locus passes through the desired location. Okay. Um, see, rather you can actually directly drag these poles and zero, but in web interface it is little bit uh, difficult. So in the left hand side. Uh, under controller and fixer blocks there will be option called C C stands for compensator or controller double click C okay it will open a controller window in that you choose your real pole and the real zero okay you just to choose a real pole and uh, move it somewhere left hand side okay your objective is you need to uh, change your zero and pole in such a way that root locus passes through your digit let me put my pole at minus 10 okay uh, let me put at minus 12 Okay, so after putting the pole at minus 12, okay, my root locus passes through uh, the desired point and uh, once again click on the rose dot and uh, drag it and uh, drop at the desired point. Now you select on the closed loop response. Now you can get the closed loop response. You can see that settling time is uh, 
reduced to much more less than 4.43 second and overshoot is 22 percentage okay this increase in overshoot may be because we have not placed the red dot exactly on the intersection point you just make fine tune it or uh, move the pole little bit in the left hand side i will put the pole at minus 14 okay now we will see the close loop response okay so there uh, from now on we will be just doing the fine tuning okay i'll uh, move the pole little bit more left hand side minus 15 you know you have overshoot is uh, 20.6 so likewise you can fine tune it it is almost okay okay i have kept a 16.6 percentage 16.4 percentage overshoot we are having 20 percentage overshoot let me check the uh, requirement also once again i do not know whether it remains same or varied in the web interface sometimes the dialogue may be in the back of your window so please be careful it is 16.4 percentage thank you uh, okay. okay make some little bit fine tuning okay in the compensator i'll move this compensator a little bit right okay, okay. so now i think uh, your requirement should be satisfied it is 19.8 the overshoot is not getting reduced uh, the real uh, thing is uh, we will be using a dominant pole approximation that may not be valid for this system okay in uh, all the compensator design what we do is uh, we use the second order formula for settling time peak overshoot etc but in practice the system may be of higher order and because of that uh, the second order may not work exactly this is what happening here you see there are four dots in this rose color dot in this diagram in the root locus two are uh, in the desired point and remaining two are little bit to left hand side and uh, these uh, may affect your closer loop response okay but uh, as per our uh, textbook uh, thing if you have placed your poles at the desired point it is more than sufficient and your compensator design is over okay uh, in the exam finally take the snapshot of this okay if you do not have your requirement just to click on the blue color requirement button uh, dot you will get uh, your specifications then uh, uh, take a snapshot of it and finally you can upload it in the google class okay so this is the way you design lead compensator thank you